Hello and welcome to another reading from the book In Heavenly Places, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled The Why of Temptation, September 1st. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 What is temptation? It is the means by which those who claim to be the children of God are tested and tried. We read that God tempted Abraham, that he tempted the children of Israel. This means that he permitted circumstances to occur to test their faith and lead them to look to him for help. God permits temptation to come to his people today that they may realize that he is their helper. If they draw nigh to him when they are tempted, he strengthens them to meet the temptation. Temptations will pour in upon us, for by them we are to be tried during our probation. This is the proving of God, the revelation of our own hearts. There is no sin in having temptation, but sin comes in when temptation is yielded to. Abraham certified his obedience to God when, with Isaac by his side, he journeyed on his way in response to the command, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering. Genesis 22 verse 2 Job was permitted to suffer. He was severely tempted, but he would not speak one word against God. During Christ's life on earth, the scribes and Pharisees, instigated by Satan, tempted him in every possible way, but he never allowed these temptations to lead him from the path of obedience. Christ's example shows us that our only hope of victory is in continual resistance of Satan's attacks. He who triumphed over the adversary of souls in the conflict with temptation understands Satan's power over the race and has conquered in our behalf. As an overcomer, he has given us the advantage of his victory that in our efforts to resist the temptations of Satan, we may unite our weakness to his strength, our worthlessness to his merits. And sustained by his enduring might under strong temptation, we may resist in his all-powerful name and overcome as he overcame. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book In Heavenly Places. God bless you.